Okay, so now we're gonna talk about uh, breaking grips versus negating grips. So this is another idea that I like to use in terms of thinking about how to engage. So if my opponent has any form of advantageous grip, and we'll go over more practical elements later, but I just want you guys to understand this idea of if Kenta has a grip on me here, I can approach this in two ways. And broadly speaking, breaking grips is pretty self-explanatory. I break the grip so that it's no longer an effective grip. So this is like usually what a lot of people think of in terms of hand fighting. However, this can be difficult depending on the quality of grip that they have. So let's say he has a really strong grip and he's pushing this into my stomach and I feel like, okay, I don't really have a good ability to break the grip just because the direction of his hands and the way I can move, I can't really move here. So then we have to think about ways to negate the grip. And so what does this mean? It means either moving my body or his body. And so instead of addressing the grip directly, I can think of ways where I, instead of, okay, if he pulls my elbow across, I can't continue going in this direction. So then I can start looking to move in the opposite direction and start looking to negate this grip by moving my own body positioning. I can also approach this by, instead of moving my own body positioning, by moving his. So instead of addressing the grip directly, I can go to his ankle and force him supine. And now we end in an orientation where this grip is no longer advantageous for him. So these are, these are, primarily means to solve problems that we may encounter. So we'll talk about like the practical elements of a two on one and arm drags and various grips later, but understanding that we can either look to address the grip itself or look to address our body positionings.